welcome to my playhouse and today I have a new server it's not a new server it's a new old server and it has some spare parts inside of it that I want to get out it's my favorite model although this motherboard is not my favorite model because it, it only uh, you're only able to put dual cores in there it doesn't take quad cores so I'm probably not gonna be using this server for very much it's Probably just gonna be spare parts, but there are some good parts in it, and let's let's go down and see what we got. Here is the server, and it's a very nice IBM 3650 Model One. And first, it got 300 gigabytes hard drives, SAS drives. That's, they're nice to have. They're, they have it. That's a good size. Otherwise, there is nothing new on the front, but inside. Here we can see there is only one processor in it and there is plastic filler to I'm pretty sure these are to prevent false airflow but it's a good thing to keep them in there so that's nice and down here is the ex expansion cards there is an expansion card on each side of this. And further down beneath this plastic thing, there's the RAM. And the reason I got this server is because these RAMs are 4 gig RAM blocks. And that's the largest RAM block that this server can can have so this server is equipped with 48 gigabytes of ram and i wanted the ram so here it is so i'm gonna take this ram out of the server and probably gonna be putting it in the nine other servers that i have of this model because they're better than this one but they have less ram Twelve blocks of four gigabyte RAM. That's forty-eight gigs. That's very nice. And let's see what processor this is. I'm pretty sure it's two gigahertz dual core, but let's just be sure. Okay. I'll just get a piece of paper. Let's just get this. Oh, it's so dry. Let's see what this is. Can we see that? Yeah, I think the light's just right there. It's a 2 gigahertz, 4 megabyte. Oh, the light is actually not good. 4 megabyte of cache, 1.33 gigahertz. And it's a 5130 and that's a dual core. So this is nothing special. This is kind of, it's not that fast. So that's why this server is not gonna be doing anything important because I already got a lot of these servers. Just gonna put it back, back in there. And just, there is still some something on this. And I'm not sure. I would probably try and put in some other processors if I don't know if this is able to to use the 53 the, the Intel Xeon 53 series that might be a good try I got a couple of gigs one gig of RAM blocks that we're gonna I'm gonna put in this server just to uh, so that it would boot if I tried to if you know this server you know that the memory configuration is on this piece of metal and the first two RAM blocks to put in is number one and number four. So we're gonna put in number one and number four. I'm actually hoping, 
I want to try this at some point to see if I can put some graphic car graphics cards in these servers. If if I could be able to uh, to change this so that it could take a graphics card. Somebody is saying that you just need to to cut a slit in this and you can put in a, a graphics card. I'm curious as if that works. So at some point I want to try that. And there is there is two PCI expansions down here and two expansions on this one. I don't know why they haven't put four in there. It's, it seems like you should be able to put in four expansion cards. I don't know. What else do we have? We have a SATA connection right there where you can plug in a SATA hard drive. The second voltage regulator goes down here. The first one is, I think this is the voltage regulator. There's actually a plug there. I don't know what that is. If anyone, anyone knows what that is? Mm, it's weird. This is a cool server. It has all kind of good stuff in it. And here is the RSA adapter. And this is this is really fast. This is a power PC RSA adapter. It's a management adapter. This is the model where it's actually fast. The next model, the 3650 model 2, 3 and 4, they were really slow. They they built this in on the on the motherboard and it became really slow. And they doubled the price. Do we have let's take out the fan blowers? To take out the fan blowers, it's these two blue handles. And the fan blowers are out. And there's all kind of things down here. There is a connector that goes over to the power supplies, which is this unit. This server has two power supplies, so I also got two extra power supplies. Always good to have those on the shell. And all these plugs are for the fans, capacitors. Uh, this is for the... Is this the CD-ROM drive? I guess so. That's an old plug for a CD-ROM drive. That's out there. And this blue blue thing is to take out the motherboard. Probably have to free some stuff. And this cable is for the... This is the USB connections. And this one... This one is... Is the monitor connection out here so that is cabled very nice okay and this one is that's probably the power for the for the cd-rom drive cd-rom drive power yeah power connection ide this is the power connection for the back plane of the hard drives and here is the cable for the hard drives No, let's put that back in. I just realized that this server is this comes with the with the standard rate controller, uh, which is this is probably almost nothing. It's an Adaptec, but there's nothing on this card. And on the bigger ones, this card is full of electronics, and there's a plug for for battery backup. So this is this is the standard one that this server comes with uh, which is really good because I don't have one of these I only have the good ones I don't have the bad ones now I have one of the it's not the bad one it's the standard one it's, it's the one you got if you didn't really need to do anything creative let's put the covers back on
So this server is just going to be spare parts. Uh, the, I know that this disk drive is very bad, but the other four disk drives should be okay. The RAM over here, I'm going to try and divide that among my nine other servers. Right now there they have 18 gigabytes of memory each and with additional 48 gigabytes um, I might be able to do 24 gigabytes or something like that. I'm not sure, maybe most of them 24 gigabytes and some of them a little bit less. Well, I carried the server out here and it's on the shell right there next to two what are, what are these called stations for monitor and keyboard and they're now right next to two IBM fiber optic switches that I don't know what I'm going to be using for because I don't have any fiber optic storage uh, someone was asking me about my storage system and I have these three Dell Ecologic and they are Iscosi Sands. Two of them are running, and the third one is like a backup. Um, I haven't even configured that one yet. Need to upgrade firmware and stuff. And I think it has a bad fan blower and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of like spare parts. Might not be a good idea to have it sitting there. But I actually had the plan of trying it out sometime. But that's my storage. All the servers have some storage, some hard drives. I try to only use one hard drive in each of them. Down here there is more hard drives, but they're really not plugged in. They're just sitting there. I, I have the luxurious problem that I don't have enough fillers. <laughs> I have hard drives, I don't have fillers. Um, well, yeah, and I have a storage, I have a QNAP NAS server down here, uh, which is getting rather dusty. I guess the maid hasn't been in here, right? So the memory is sitting right there until further notice. I was thinking about doing the top two servers, like these two, and plugging in uh, each 24 gigabytes of RAM in, in those two they are the servers that I use the most it's just they have this number one and number two so very often I just go with number one and number two uh, which is of course a bad idea but that's what I do so I was hoping to put in the memory in those two and take that memory and distribute um, or among the rest um, I'll see how that goes. Yeah, I might change my mind. I would get a better description if I if I don't do it like that. But well, it's it would save some power to do it like that because each memory block they do use some amount of power. So if you fill up the server with with memory blocks, um, it uses more power. So if I could just have six memory blocks in each of those servers it would probably use half the power on memory that it is than what it is using right now when the slots are all full so well I'll be thinking about that uh, number four has a yellow light mm, wonder what that is so that's it thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again have a really nice day bye bye